So, in this video I would like to talk about FD and 3D printed mask for air filtrations and in my next video I will show you how I created this custom marks, mask from a 3D scanned face of my bike so to get perfect ceiling here. My name is Igor and I work as a teacher and researcher on food engineering department in St. Eugene University in Hungary and I have some experience with the 3D printed objects used in food industry. To clear something, I am a mechanical engineer with a PhD degree, I'm not a biologist or, or medical doctor, but I try to collect information from official sources, they, they will be also in the description of this video. Ok, let's go step by step. So, what is the purpose of this plastic? The purpose is when you put it on the face, it has to fit to your face perfectly to get uh, the best ceiling around edges of the mask. When I was in military, uh, we had to put the mask very quickly and the officer came, uh, approached us and, and put his hand on the opening of the filter to see if there any vacuum in the mask and he, uh, if he saw that vacuum then, then it was okay. So that's what you have to do. Put your mask on your face, put your hand on the filter opening and if you cannot breathe or, give, or the air goes inside very very hardly, then it's okay. If you already pre-printed your max and you, and you don't have the perfect ceiling, you can fix it. Uh, use a hair dryer. Uh, you need approximately 50-60 degrees for PLA. Uh, and then it will be a little bit flexible and you can deform it to get a better ceiling. Or you can put it in uh, hot water between 50 and 60 degrees Celsius. Don't, don't use almost boiling water. Another solution is to 3D print the mask from the flexible filament. Or even better, start to print with PLA and only the end of the mask print with the flexible filament, then you will get the good sealing between mask and your skin and also good contact with the filter holder. Perfect fitting is, is very important, not because of the sealing, but also the wearing of the mask will be more comfortable. For example, I 3D printed this one. Uh, I downloaded it from the Tingeress, I modified it, but it fits on my face only here with, on these edges. I have good ceiling, but it's not too comfortable. I can wear it maybe one or two hours, but after that it's not too comfortable. Uh, for my luck, I, I don't need it for longer so far, because I go only every second day to a local store here for a short period. But that's why I created this one for my wife. I 3D scanned her face with a Kinect. I put a mask on that surface, so this surface here is basically from her 3D scanned, uh, scanned face and uh, she told me that it's very very comfortable and she gets very perfect ceiling, so I was surprised with the results. This will be my next video, I will show you how to design if you have a 3D scanner. Ok, so a few words about filters. Of course, most important part of the mask is the filter, and I found a very nice article on researchgate.net uh, and testing the efficiency of homemade masks, would they protect in an influenza pandemic? And most important part of this article is this table. And uh, if you compare the sur surgical mask and the vacuum cleaner bag, so we can see that they have very similar efficiency but also very interesting information, for example, tea tower, if we use a tool layer of, of this material, then again it has very similar efficiency like a surgical mask or vacuum cleaner. Another very interesting article is on, from the smartairfilters.com. Uh, here you can see the comparison of the size of different particles. And again, a surgical mask compared to the vacuum cleaner bag very similar efficiency. Uh, next in this list is the dish tower and similar. This is efficiency against one micron particles. And next comparison is 
uh, again 0.02 micron particles so again you can see for example surgical mask and uh, filter 89 percent vacuum cleaner has efficiency of 86 percent again third is the dish tower but very interesting information is this so again if you use a uh, two layers of dish tower then, then it can similar efficiency like surgical mask of course you cannot raise the number of the layers to infinity because uh, it will be very hard to breed and also if if the resistance of the air is too big then the air will search for easier way to go in so probably it will go uh, to the side of the mask between skin avoiding the filter and another very interesting article is from freem.com where they are comp uh, compared the mask against uh, versus respirators what may be interesting for us here that they explain here how important is the ceiling around the respirator between skin and the mask very interesting article also the links will be in the description of this video my favorite I'm using uh, is the HEPA filter, which is washable, from the vacuum cleaner. Of course, the pore size of this filter is a little bit bigger than the virus, for example, the COVID-19. And But um, the virus is so small that it cannot travel along, usually stick to the drop or bigger uh, particle dust or similar, the filters don't give you 100% protection from the virus. But if it will filter, for example, half of those dust and uh, maybe that will be the edge that, that uh, you will not get sick, then it's worth of it. Of course, very important is to get good sealing between the filter and the filter holder. In this solution, I used uh, a hot glue. This was clipped on, for example, this filter holder. This method is not so good because uh, it's, the ceiling is not perfect here between two plastics. Much better solution is using a treat. So if you are designing your own mess, a treat is always better because it's easier uh, to get perfect ceiling. You can use some o-ring here. And uh, of course, it's much easier to take it down, for example, if you want to replace the filter or, or maybe clean it if it is washable like mine. Bacteria colonies between the pores of the layers. I will talk about it more detailed in my food safety printing printing uh, video, the link is also in the description. We have to consider that after longer usage, very long usage, uh, more months, uh, bacteria can uh, locate here bacteria colonies bit on pores between layers and it's very hard to clean it um, my experiments are were with the meal so with the food but but probably here also we have that problem too and nowadays we need our immune system on the top so it's not a good idea to make it weaker by breeding in those bacteria my solution for example there are several solutions for this I use an epoxy resin, two component epoxy resin to coat it because this mask is very open and you can reach every surface on it. You will get very smooth surface so it's much easier to clean after using because when you go home, take off the mask, use some isopropyl alcohol, clean it. For example with those vase for respirators, you cannot use this method because you cannot put the coated with the epoxy resin from every side inside the small tubes. Second method is the using antibacterial filaments. I have some experience in progress. I 3D printed small cups and I send them in Novi Sad in university, uh, which we are collaborating together. But unfortunately, because of the current situation, uh, they are not allowed to go on buildings of the university into laboratories to finish this experiment. It's, it's for food, basically, but I have to wait for the results several months now, who knows. Uh, according to literature, uh, I noticed that it can be used so those metallic ions will prevent the bacteria build-ups uh, between these pores and uh, that can be another solution. The third solution is annealing of the PLA because um, we have our youngest daughter is, is two years 
and uh, we are sterilizing the, her dishes and uh, uh, bottle in the microwave but the problem is that PLA for example cannot handle this kind of temperature but uh, if there is a solution annealing of the PLA we raise the temperature resistance so it can be sterilized the, the only problem with this is when you put it in the oven for, for annealing uh, it will definitely shrink and deform so you take the printed mask you have perfect sealing and uh, you put it in the oven for annealing and then it will shrink it will deform and you don't perfect fitting anymore then so that's one big problem with this annealing uh, another solution is, but not for personal usage, it's for institutes or hospitals, for example, is ultrasonic cleaning. My colleagues are testing cleaning of 3D printed objects with ultrasonic method. Uh, we are at the beginning of these uh, experiments, but uh, first research uh, shows that probably it looks like even the PLA can be properly cleaned with ultrasonic equipment. Uh, those thermal peaks are for very short period and uh, very local but unfortunately because of this situation we are not allowed to go to the laboratory so we can continue this research after this current increase is uh, finished but it will be published in scientific papers and also I will create a small video summary here on the channel about our results and uh, if none of these methods are, are good for you, then at least minimum is to use antibacterial soap. When you go uh, home, take off the mask and clean the surface with, with the alcohol, isopropyl alcohol, for example, leave it there. And before you will use it, uh, use antibacterial soap to clean it. You will clean the, uh, most of the bacteria on the surface. Some of them in pores will stay there, but at least on the pores will be cleaned and uh, this method maybe can be used if you go out only for local shop you will wear it maybe one or two hours and well maybe this method could be accepted it, it's better than do nothing with that so at least that's minimum uh, to clean it but don't leave your max with any kind of maintenance so it, it needs really uh, some basic cleaning especially if we want to wear it I know maybe a few months I hope not but who knows Okay, those will be my opinions, my experience, so if you have your opinions, comments are open, so I'm very curious for other methods and solutions. And don't forget to check my next video where I will show you how I created this mask from the 3D scanned face of my wife to get best fitting to her face. Thank you for watching and take care of yourselves and the others. Bye!